Hello and happy Sunday. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. I hope that you're having a good July. How are you guys feeling about July? Is it the same as June was for you? I can't tell. I know the weeks they've been heavy. <laughs> it's been intense out here. But uh, I'm like, is it better? Is it the same? I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm going to be curious to hear your thoughts. But anyways, today we're going to be doing... Um, a different unboxing, a same but different. It's from Flying Monkey Totes. It's her other offering, which is the, damn it, I put notes somewhere. Crystals and Pot of Tea subscription. So she has three different options. Um, I think this might be the large one. I'm assuming it is, I don't know. I'll know once I get in there. Um, but she offers a small for 25, a medium, for 43 and then a large for 85. I'll put all the exact information down below. I don't know if any of these prices um, in include shipping or not. I'm assuming no, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, and there might be more information in there. Um, but yeah, and so it just has a variety of crystals um, and tea and then other things, you know, like witchy fun things that are gonna be a surprise. So, let's just go ahead and get into it and a huge thank you to sarah for sending me this i can't freaking wait and it has a fragile sticker so let's see and it's still early in the morning so i'm not quite fully awake but i wanted to get some rainbow time um let's see what it says oh she's so sweet and she's so sweet she's sending me the the llamas box for next month i'm so excited i can't believe that's almost upon yeah. us I can't believe what day is it today, the 10th? It's already July 10th. I feel like, where has time gone? Is it the Hadron Collider? Is that why? <laughs> time, what is time? Uh, and here is her business card with all the information on it and how you can find her. I'm sorry, my nail polish is chipped to hell. Every time I take my phone case off, I fuck up my nails. It's so hard to do and it shouldn't be that hard. But it is, because it's like a good one. It has like this like, rubbery stuff so to like peel it off but how pretty is this i spend way too much time looking at this fall down in the sun because it has like the glitter and then also has the hearts <laughs> anyways all right let's get into this and see what this paper says oh okay that's our spoiler paper let me just um get in here oh i'm excited to see what she did this is so fun look how pretty it looks I'm gonna move it to the side. I do have like hot water and a, a cup over here for the tea so we can try it out. Okay. The first thing that called to me is this beautiful blue paper. I was like, what, what are you? Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> see here, oh, this looks, I can already tell it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, how pretty. So we have the, um, the heart strainer, which I've had a few of these and they're my favorite because I love hearts, but they've like broken on me over time or like they don't break, but like this part comes out and I'm just, you know, then I lose it. But I'm excited to have another one because I always need more. And you have the Hamza with the, was it the Nazar, the Nazar, the evil eye? Nazar, I don't know. I can't remember the exact word, but something like that. Okay, next. <laughs> Ooh, we have some chocolates. We have some dark chocolate with sea salt and caramel. And then we have a 60% cacao dark chocolate. And then a 72 intense dark. Mmm. All right, yum. Okay. And then I see something else here. It's like heavy. Where's my little, my cut thingy? Like my friend got me this and I know I talk about it all the time. I feel I'm obsessed with this. Anytime I can't find this, it's a horrible day. The other day I was doing like a couple of unboxings and I didn't I couldn't find it and I had to use a knife and that was just a struggle. So if you don't have one of these, how do you recommend getting them? It's freaking amazing. Okay. Back to our scheduled program. <laughs> it looks like we have a beautiful um, piece of moonstone. It's nice and flat, it's like the rubbing ones. I love the rubbing stones. I was gonna say something, but you know what? We'll keep this PG. 
whatever fuck I say. I love to rub one out, you know, when I'm stressed. So these are great. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. Very pretty. Okay. And then we have something else like this. There's like a big thing in here, and I'm gonna leave that for last. I think I I want to say this is probably a stand or something. It kind of reminds me of a jack. But who knows? I'm just stabbing the paper, trying to get it open. Oh, it's pretty. I think it's. It feels heavy, so it has to be a crystal, like obsidian or something. Or it could be wood. I don't know. That's what we have. Unless you get to the paper, I'll show you guys. Like, or I'll tell you what it is. Very pretty. The next thing we have is something like this. I like how everything is wrapped and it's like a surprise. Oh, I think this is the tea. So I remember in her description I said that she gives you a, a big ass bag of a bagged tea. Um, I think like you can use it several times and it's big. Look at this. It's a big boy. So I think I'm going to take some out and put it into the little strainer thing while this does its thing. Here, just do a little, a little bit more of this. Or actually, I could just use my strainer. You know, I'm just going to use my strainer. Oh, I can use my strainer. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Like I said, it's still very early. Oy, I'm telling you guys. And there might be a cute something in there, but so I can have the steeping um, while we unbox things and if we can taste it as we go. And I'll tell you guys what kind of tea it is in a second. I probably just heard something loud in my other room. I wonder if Horace is messing with my speakers. <laughs> oh, let's see here. It's hard to untie this, but I'm gonna break it off and put it into like a container anyways. Let's see here. Oh my God. Mmm, it smells pretty. Give it a little look see with the tea. I put it in here. Oh Shiva, damn it. <laughs> I just spilled it all over myself. <laughs> At the table. Uh, I need some more. Good thing you guys didn't catch that. This is how I am before I have caffeine. Okay. Ta da! I'm gonna use my little Bridgerton mug. I'm gonna let that chill out over here. Oh, okay. And then we have something like this. Ooh, this is pretty. And I think it's finally getting brighter. At least it feels like it for me over here. And this is gorgeous. I think we have a nice little tower. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I want to say it's like, I've had something like this, but I don't, I know I have something like this. I, for, I forget what it is. It's either like the scripture stone or it's something with like hematite. We'll find out. The paperwork is coming. <laughs> but it's very pretty. So cute. They're lovely. All right. And then we have a little box like this. Isn't that cute? Oh, 
And there are some earrings. These like amber earrings, maybe. How pretty. Look at that. Oh, there you guys can see the good shot of how it looks. Super cute. And then we have something like this. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Wow. Such a cool box. I love it. Let's see here. Sorry, she packaged everything very well and I'm trying to get one piece out of plastic. Oh, here we go. So we have a stand. Hopefully you guys can kind of tell where this might be headed. I'm super excited. Oh, I don't know what this is either, but it's beautiful. Look at this. With this huge freaking sphere. I know the paper's gonna tell us what kind of crystal it is, but that is so freaking cool. I love that, that's massive. And it's beautiful and it has great energy. I'm in love, that is so pretty. And I love it when they include a stand, otherwise they roll freaking everywhere. <sighs> love that, that is so freaking cool. Okay. All right, well then we have one more thing and then we're gonna get into the big item. Have something like this. Sneaking suspicion it may be a pyramid. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I don't have anything like this. I mean, I have one pyramid, um, but it's not like this. This is really pretty. Oh, I can't wait to find out what all these stones are. Look at that. Freaking excellent. Oh, beautiful. It's almost like a planet. Mm. Massive, too. These are huge. Look at that. No pebbles. All right. Let me get this box out. We have something like that. I'm so excited. I'm like trying to read what it says, but I can't. Uh, let's see here. It's a mug and a spoon set. Yes. You guys know I love me some mugs. Like I realized my mug collection is getting out of control. Because I need, I need another cabinet to put more mugs in. <laughs> All right, I'm so excited. I haven't turned it around yet, but it says Home and Gift Collection, Alchemy, England, 1977, mug and spoon set, fine bone china, designed in England. Mm, oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's trapped in there. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. Ooh, look how cute that is. It's just stirring up magic. And you have the cauldron and like the wooden spoon, the potion side. Love that. The same on the other side. How cute. And then spells. You could probably hang a crystal from here if you wanted to. Oh, I love how that feels. I love really thin like porcelain china. It has to be like thin. I love it. And this is nice and thin. 
but like not like flimsy, but like sexy thin. <laughs> that is so cute. It's such a freak. Well, I mean, are you kidding me? This is so cute. So you get, well, I think it changes every time and depending on what size you get. But I mean, you get a lot of crystals in this one, which has to be the large for sure. Um, got all of these bad boys. It's trying to bring everything in frame here. And then you get the huge amount of tea and a reusable bag. And then got some candies. Now let's taste the tea. And the freaking cute, adorable mug. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't wait to tell you guys what the actual crystals are. I'm excited to find out. How long has it been? Like a few minutes? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but we got a beautiful color. let the, the little tea thing settle uh, while I let it settle let me show you guys the contents okay okay so this is a unakite jasper sphere this unakite is a stone of great love healing and vision it is a ground it is grounding facilitates rebirth and gently releases inhibitions that block our spiritual and psychological growth this unakite supports recovery from both minor and major illness. Oh, I love that. I've only had, I think, two things of unakite, and I'm pretty sure I've given them away each time. So I'm excited to actually have some to keep because I love the way this feels. All right, and then we have... Okay, so this is shungite. Oh, lovely. A shungite merkaba. So shungite is a carbon-rich stone that offers protection from the effects of electro electromagnetic exposure, Wi-Fi, and radiation. It balances emotions, combats stress, as well as reduces pain and inflammation. Wear or carry shungite to receive constant benefits of this unusual stone. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, the Merkaba is a three-dimensional eight-pointed star composed of two pyramids, one pointing up towards the heaven, yang, and the other pointing down towards the earth, yin. It says, meditate with the Merkaba when seeking and maintaining spiritual, spiritual and emotional balance. This powerful symbol of divinity represents and protects the energy of the soul and is often considered 3D. It is often considered a 3D representation of the Star of David. That is super cool. I've seen these and I, I think I have a little baby one, but I never knew what that was. I just liked it. <laughs> so it's so cool to know like what the name came from and what it's for. I love that. Um, all right, the tea has settled a little bit, so I'm going to take a sip and taste it. Yeah, as usual, it's freaking delicious. Um, it's sweet. I can taste some kind of a fruit. I want to say it's like pear. Mm, I don't know what that is, but I like it. Maybe like a rooibos. Mm, that's good. She has great teas, you guys. Um, okay, hold on. Let me back to this. Fire quartz. It says, fire quartz helps remove and transform negativity into a positive and loving energy. It fosters emotional clarity and self-esteem, as well as enhancing concentration and focus. Fire quartz is ideal for balance, grounding, as well as soothing stress and panic. So we got a little fire quartz tower. That's not what I thought it was, but <laughs> now I know what that is. That is so cool. Um, and then this is supposed to be a garnet pyramid. Let me go here. Um, pyramids are powerful tools for manifesting our desires. Utilizing the sacred energies of pyramid directs intention through the apex, transmitting the power to manifest through the universe. Placing written intentions underneath the pyramid further enhances intention and meditations to realize our goals and desires. That is beautiful. And it says, more than just an ornamental jewel, garnet revitalizes, purifies, balances, and alleviates emotional disharmony. Traditionally, it has been used to inspire love, passion, and creativity. This garnet is also considered to strengthen and strengthen, encourage, and stimulate. Sorry, strengthen, courage, and stimulate survival instincts. That is so freaking cool. Oh. I never would have figured out the names of any of these. Any of them. I was like, wrong, 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 wrong. Uh, but these are all like perfect and exactly what I need right now. And now on to the moonstone. So rainbow moonstone, uh, tourmaline worry stone this moonstone has a gentle calming energy and with black tourmaline it is a stone of protection balance and harmony and hope moonstone enhances feminine energies intuition and psychic abilities 
the ideal stone for getting in touch with our emotions and addressing the need for spiritual guidance and protection. So beautiful. And then we have the beautiful earrings. And this is, hopefully you can, I'm trying to hold it in a way where you can see the light coming through. Hopefully it will focus. Um, Baltic Amber Earrings. When it comes to natural healing, harmony, and well-being, genuine Baltic Amber is unmatched. Baltic Amber improves the body's immunity as well as helping to balance both mind, body, or sorry, <laughs> balance both mind and spirit. It is also believed that Amber fosters prosperity and success. That is awesome. I don't know anything about Baltic Amber, but they feel really good. They're beautiful. And each time that I get near them, I just get all like giddy. So I'm excited to work with that. Um, okay. And then the tea, the delicious tea is chocolate monkey tea. And it's South African rooibos leaves, chocolate, banana, and pink peppercorn. Banana? What? Is that what I'm tasting? Mm. Oh, hold on a second. I just saw something on the paper. Ah, Shaita. Okay. Oh. Ah. All right. Okay. So that was everything that was included in this box. Um, let me know what you think down below. I think this is super fun, super cute, and I absolutely loved it. Like, if I had to pick my favorite, it would be freaking hard because I like all of the things, like all of them. But, oh, it's hard because I like them all. Because <laughs> they're all like massive freaking crystals. Beautiful earrings, delicious tea. Like, who doesn't love chocolate? This freaking cute mug. But if I had to pick just one, I think this Unakite Sphere is coming from my heart. It just really is. Like, I don't know why. I just love it so much. But honestly, everything's amazing. They're all going to be used. And I love adding these babies to my collection. And this will be used probably soon. And I love the spell spoon. That is so freaking cute. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Sarah, thank you so much for this box. It was so good. Let me know down below what your favorite item was. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.